Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Teresa, AKA Cruelty Free Tea. And today is kind of gonna be a story time. So if you didn't see my last video, you may wanna check that one out before watching this. I mean, you don't have to, but if you wanna better understand hypothyroidism, then definitely do that. Today, I'm going to be talk about, talking about how I was tricked into an MLM challenge group or whatever. I didn't realize that's what it was because I had never heard of the product before. Let's take it back to uh, summer of 2015. So that summer I was actually taking classes for the first time, like I was in summer school. And I think I was taking about three classes, and if you've done summer school before then you know the classes are like extremely long because it's condensed into such a short period of time. I think I had two classes on like Monday and Wednesday, and then one class on Tuesday, Thursday. I can't I'm can't remember. I actually have notes here just about this whole ordeal because it was like five years ago so I don't remember every single detail but I tried to remember as much as I could and I referred back to emails from when I joined this and just kind of like what happened in the group or what was offered basically because I still have those emails but anyway so some details might be a little fuzzy so it was 2015 I was 24 and because I was in summer school I was struggling with my fitness and health kind of like I was just so tired from the school aspect that I feel like I kind of slacked on the other stuff and I just wasn't feeling motivated really that's kind of where I was just mentally anyway Sorry, I'm like, and my computer's right here. So if you see me looking over there, that's why. So I had been following this woman for a while, I think. And when she started posting about hypothyroidism and how she healed her thyroid and stuff, obviously my interest was piqued. I was like, oh, okay. I realized she offered a program or a course, I guess. And it was called Thyroid Jumpstart. This is part of the problem anyway. When someone's in an MLM like this, they typically don't mention the company name. They kind of advertise it under their own brand, I guess. And that's basically what she did. So I, I had no idea, but I didn't even know what Beachbody was anyway. Like, I just didn't know what that was. So the first red flag should have been the fact that in order to join this group you had to be on Facebook and I hadn't been on Facebook in three, three and a half years or something like that and my account was just deactivated but I didn't want to use that account so I just made a whole new account just so I could join this group and yeah so basically it was a beach body challenge group but I didn't realize that and I'm pretty sure that when I signed up it was like through her own links kind of and I don't remember it just like taking me to beachbody.com I mean it may have just to pick out my flavor of shake again never heard of shakeology the program we were doing as a group was 21 day fix and I didn't even know like what that was honestly when I was first signing up I was under the impression that this was more of like her own making because when she posted workouts she never mentioned 21 day fix um if she did post her shake i don't remember her specifically saying shakeology she might have just hinted at it being like some superfood shake or something i don't know but i signed up i was like you know i'm kind of desperate i didn't feel like my medicine was working i was so tired and i just wanted to feel better you know so i signed up she sent out a video every day for a week that included tips. This was before we even received the 21 Day Fix and Shakeology. 
These were things we were supposed to do in addition to the program. Okay, so she wanted us to log our temperature every morning, like upon rising or before we even got out of bed, which if you know anything about hypothyroidism, you know that you typically have a low body temperature. She wanted us to keep track of that for a week to see where it was at. She wanted us to log our food for a week, I believe. She recommended a gluten-free diet and like soy-free, I think. She wanted us to get 10 to 15 minutes of direct sunlight like in the morning. This is what got me. We were supposed to do one to two minutes of body weight exercise before every meal, and then we were supposed to do 15 minutes of movement after each meal. And I'm like, who has time for that? Like, if I'm in class, I can't just be out in the hall, like, doing exercises just so that I can eat, and then as soon as I'm done eating, I need to exercise again on top of doing the exercise program that we were going to be receiving like what but anyway she wanted us to decrease stress so her recommendations were yoga that's more activity uh epsom salt baths and using essential oils we weren't supposed to eat processed food and then she also recommended we take a bunch of different supplements so i'm like Okay, so on top of paying 140 or whatever for this Shakeology and workout program, I think the total might have actually been like 160 for all of it. I don't remember. On top of that, you want us to buy, let's see, she wants us to take selenium, vitamin D, melatonin, a probiotic, and then of course, Shakeology. So I'm editing the video and I realized I kind of left out the fact that I'm not saying that these tips don't help with your thyroid, but what you were paying for was Shakeology and 21 day fix. So in other words, all the stuff that she's saying that helped or whatever, you could have easily just found that on the internet. Like selenium is important for your thyroid function, but she didn't really provide anything that was worth paying for because it's free on the internet if you're just looking stuff up like even my doctor said to eat brazil nuts because they're high in selenium like this wasn't a program for healing your thyroid if you get what i'm saying this was about 21 day fix shakeology and her getting access to people and getting them to sign up under her that's what this was about that's what's irritating like you exploited people with a chronic illness to make money she also recommended we journal the whole process so that we could see our progress or whatever and to participate in the Facebook group for like accountability. So like I said, she sent one video out a day for a week explaining all of these things that we were going to be doing and then about a weekend the 21 day fix arrived. So 21 day fix is 21 days of workouts and it comes with a meal plan but it's these little color-coded containers let's say the yellow is carbs i think i don't really remember the green one is like vegetables the purple one's like fruit maybe or something and you get the point basically it's a low carb diet and it's a low calorie diet if we're really calling it what it is you're only allowed to eat like so many servings of each food group basically so like you might get two servings of the yellow container for the day something like that and then of course they recommend that you drink your Shakeology like that's one of your meals so like I said I didn't know that these were beach body or whatever I'm not gonna lie I didn't really do the workout program because I have a hard time with home workouts they're just not I don't know it's easy for me to be like meh did some of her suggestions. I tried to follow the meal plan or whatever. I did do mostly gluten-free. I don't know if I was completely gluten-free. The whole issue with this is that she's not certified in nutrition or anything. She's not certified in even like personal training as far as I remember. To be giving out this nutritional advice, like 
You don't have any credentials. You're basing it off of anecdotal evidence from like what you experienced. I mean, that's just not something you should be doing. You shouldn't be recommending things to people just because it worked for you, you know? So, like I said, she never mentioned Beachbody or any of that. And I, we were supposed to like kind of share about ourselves in the group. And I believe I shared that I was in school studying exercise science and that I had competed in a bikini competition. So she messages me, she doesn't comment in the group. She messages me privately and she's like, with your experience, I just think you would be a really great coach or whatever. So in my head, I'm thinking, oh, she, you know, singled me out, out of the group. And I'm like, well, I could try, like, you know, I don't, could use a little bit of extra money. I didn't know <laughs> that it was a pyramid scheme, okay? So I joined. I signed up to be a coach. I know, it's so embarrassing. I actually did like Shakeology. Like, I only tried the chocolate vegan one, I think. Now, I will say it didn't like mix all that great, but I liked the taste and I liked that it kept me full. I did feel like it kept me full more so than just a protein shake. Um, but I still thought it was overpriced. And I was getting a discount now as a coach, but it was still around a hundred dollars you know uh which is just absurd like who who pays a hundred dollars or 140 if you're not a coach for protein powder basically like that's just ridiculous anyway i think i was in it for like five or six weeks and at first I thought, like obviously when I signed up, then I saw that it was Beachbody, like I knew, but I still didn't know that it was an MLM. I thought I could make money, just like some extra money, by helping people get in shape by using the programs. Granted, I didn't really do the 21 day fix, but I saw that there were other programs like P90X and Insanity, which I had done some of those. I didn't do like the full, I think I borrowed some workouts from my brother-in-law or something. And I was like, oh, well, these are pretty good. I could help people get in better shape and eat better by selling some of this stuff. <laughs> well, what they fail to tell you is that in order to make commission off of things, you have to be active, which means you are purchasing Shakeology for yourself, like on an auto subscription. So I was like, geez, like, I can't afford that. That's a hundred and whatever dollars a month plus you had to pay fifteen dollars a month for your coaching website or whatever and access to all their training and whatever nonsense so yeah I was like well I can't really do that and because I signed up to be a coach I was enrolled free in her boss chicks Academy or whatever which basically teaches you how to sell this stuff and when I saw that like one of the first lessons or whatever was to rekindle relationships it basically said to write down a hundred people that you know and reach out to them and I was like I'm not doing that because one I don't like when people come out of nowhere and try to sell me something and two I'm just an introvert and that made me very uncomfortable. I'm like, why would I reach out to people I haven't talked to in years? I'm like, that's weird. I don't want to do it. So I canceled. I think I canceled before I had to pay that other $15. I The only person to buy from me was my aunt and she had actually tried my Shakeology and she liked it and she wanted a home workout program so she purchased something from me. I didn't even get the commission on it I think because I wasn't active <laughs> with the Shakeology. I had canceled the subscription part because I was like I just can't afford that right now. So yeah, it, it ended up being a hot mess and it was all under like false pretenses. I just... Ugh. And it's like I'm seeing it more so like after the fact but she literally 
targeted women with hypothyroidism to make money. That's what she did. Because they tell beach body coaches, you know, oh, use your story to like rope people in. And it's just messed up, you guys. It's messed up. So, yeah, I, you know, I quit. I'm thankful that I didn't get like. Of course, I ran out of room on my phone. So, anyway. I'm thankful that I didn't get stuck in it and really lost money. Yeah, when I saw that she recommended us reaching out to people and getting them to like join, it, it started to click. Like this is the only way you're really gonna make money. And I also wanna point out something that when I joined the group, I'm thinking she's my coach, but then I see like in an email that my coach is actually her husband. I was like, well, that's weird, but I just didn't really think anything of it. But when you understand how pyramids work, pyramid schemes work, you realize that most people sign up, close family members pay for those memberships or whatever just so that they join people under there as well. You know, so like if she's at top, she has her husband and her mom or something then they're under her and then they recruit people and it just goes down like that like a nice pyramid so yeah obviously I didn't really understand all this when I first signed up and I think I only did like one team call or whatever uh, and that also made me realize I was like these people are coaches, like no offense, but a lot of them didn't even really look like they worked out, they were overweight, and I'm like, so she didn't reach out to me because of my fitness background. Like that's not really what it was about. She just wanted anybody from the group to join under her so that she could make more money. It is what it is. Like people could sit here all day long and be like, no, it's not a pyramid scheme. These products are great there's products being sold so it can't be a pyramid scheme but it's like no when it's based off of recruitment really like that's how you make your money then uh, it's a pyramid scheme because like I said at first I thought oh I could you know just earn some commission off of the products but <laughs> you can't make money that way especially if you're not putting money into the company yourself I an active coach so the whole thing was just ridiculous. I wish I had never joined. I wish I had done more research before jumping in. But like I said, at least I got out early. And I didn't even think that I had to, but I just was trying to be nice. I sent an email telling her that I was canceling my coach thing, whatever. And just kind of explain like you know I have school and stuff I just don't have time for this and whatever I don't even think I've mentioned the money really but she never even emailed me back <laughs> like because these people don't care like you're just a number to them it's a dollar sign really so she probably saw that and was like damn it like that's probably it but what I found funny is I recently like a few weeks back when I still had Instagram. When I checked her page, I saw that Thyroid Jumpstart wasn't up there anymore. And I mean, it used to be in her bio. Like this was her thing. Like this was her story, whatever. So I went to her website and now she's all about, there's like some course to help you live the life you've always wanted to be confident so now she's basically preying on insecure women <laughs> I'm, I just can't I'm like whatever chick like I don't know I didn't click on any links to see if it still has to do with beach body but I wouldn't be surprised if that's like part of living life on your terms or whatever the hell she says like I don't know. I just think she's full of shit, really. So, yeah. If you saw me back in 2015 posting about helping you get in shape or whatever, and I think I might have done a post, one post with Shakeology, I sincerely apologize. But hey, at least I didn't cold message people 
asking them to join my team or whatever else because that's embarrassing yeah that was basically my MLM experience I mean I've had other MLMs try to reach out to me like Arbonne and some legging company like you know you get those DMs some dude tried to get my husband to join Amway back when I was either pregnant or we had just had Jace I can't really remember and then I actually did buy a program from a friend's mom, Advocare, you know, which they actually got caught or whatever being a pyramid scheme. So they've changed their business model now to where you can actually just order the products online. Um, but yeah, I signed up for that stupid 24 day challenge and that was like $300 or something. I mean, it's just shitty like even if you really love the products trying to get just insecure people it doesn't even have to be young girls you can just be insecure or financially unstable and promising financial freedom and all this crap trying to get them to join it's just shitty even if you believe in the products i don't know but i know some people they're brainwashed they are brainwashed by these companies and they really think they're helping people and Unfortunately, they're just not. The only way you really make money is if you get in early and you're on the top. That's it. So, steer clear of Beachbody. It's bullshit. Most of these coaches have zero credentials and they don't know shit about fitness or nutrition. They're just following programs that they have access to. But they don't personally know anything. They just know whatever's worked for them. I don't know guys it's so embarrassing looking back but if I can help somebody not join then by all means I'm gonna put this out there and be like hey don't join I don't care if it's Beachbody I don't care if it's Arbonne I don't care if it's Monate Monat Monat whatever the fuck that is I don't care if it's oh the Jamberry nails there's so many of them like it's really disgusting. This shouldn't be allowed. I don't understand. But yeah, just steer clear. Stay far, far away. And someone messages you, just tell them, you know what? I'm not interested in joining a pyramid scheme or an MLM. It's not for me. And just leave it at that. Just leave it at that. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, give it a thumbs up subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.